We have the same compounds, THC and or CBD, brought into the body and brain, binding the same receptors, in this case, the CB1 receptors, but depending on where those receptors are located and which brain areas we're referring to, they are either causing heightened levels of alertness and activation of systems that are designed to make you talkative and alertness and mood, et cetera, focus, or they are causing suppression of those circuitries. So we have kind of a seesaw effect here where the same compound is increasing mood and alertness and focus in the prefrontal cortex and is decreasing stress and threat detection in the amygdala. And that's one of the reasons why, especially the sativa varieties of cannabis, allow people to enter these states of focus. Some might even say flow, although I don't want to go into what flow states really are. That's for a different discussion and it's very poorly defined as it is. And I certainly don't wanna give people the impression that cannabis increases flow states because that's not always the case. And certainly most often is not gonna be the case. But the idea here is that this molecule comes into our brain and is shifting everything towards a state of focus, elevated mood, of heightened sense of importance about whatever it is that we happen to be doing. 